function of the pancreas. The pancreas serves two primary functions, according to Jordan Knowlton, an advanced registered nurse practitioner at the University of Florida Health Shands Hospital, it makes enzymes to digest proteins, fats, and carbs in the intestines and produces the hormones insulin and glucagon, he said. Drive, Richard Bowen of Colorado State University's Department of Biomedical Sciences wrote in Hypertexts for Pathophysiology, Endocrine System, a well-known effect of insulin is to decrease the concentration of glucose in blood, this lowers blood sugar levels and allows the body's cells to use glucose for energy. Insulin also allows glucose to enter muscle and other tissue, works with the liver to store glucose and synthesize fatty acids, and stimulates the uptake of amino acids, according to Bowen. Insulin is released after reading protein and especially after reading carbohydrates, which increase glucose levels in the blood. If the pancreas does not produce sufficient insulin, type 1 diabetes will develop. Unlike insulin, glucagon raises blood sugar levels, according to the Johns Hopkins University Saul Goldman Pancreatic Cancer Research Center. The combination of insulin and glucagon maintains the proper level of sugar in the blood. The pancreas' second, exocrine function is to produce and release digestive fluids. After food enters the stomach, digestive enzymes called pancreatic juice travel through several small ducts to the main pancreatic duct and then to the bile duct, according to the Medical University of South Carolina's Digestive Disease Center. The bile duct takes the juice to the gall bladder, where it mixes with bile to aid in digestion. Digestion The exocrine portion of the pancreas plays a major role in the digestion of food. The stomach slowly releases partially digested food into the duodenum as a thick, acidic liquid called chyme. The acne of the pancreas secrete pancreatic juice to complete the digestion of chyme in the duodenum. Pancreatic juice is a mixture of water, salts, bicarbonate, and many different digestive enzymes. The bicarbonate ions present in pancreatic juice neutralize the acid in chyme to protect the intestinal wall and to create the proper environment for the functioning of pancreatic enzymes. The pancreatic enzymes each specialize in digesting specific compounds found in chyme. Pancreatic amylase breaks large polysaccharides like starches and glycogen into smaller sugars such as maltose, maltotriose, and glucose. Maltase secreted by the small intestine then breaks maltose into the monosaccharide glucose, which the intestines can directly absorb. Trypsin Chymotrypsin, and carboxypeptidase are protein digesting enzymes that break proteins down into their amino acid subunits, these amino acids can then be absorbed by the intestines. Pancreatic lipase is a lipid digesting enzyme that breaks large triglyceride molecules into fatty acids and monoglycerides. Bile released by the gall bladder emulsifies fats to increase the surface area of triglycerides that pancreatic lipase can react with. The fatty acids and monoglycerides produced by pancreatic lipase can be absorbed by the intestines. Ribonuclease and deoxyribonuclease are nucleases, or enzymes that digest nucleic acids. Ribonuclease breaks down molecules of RNA into the sugar ribose and the nitrogenous bases adenine, cytosine, guanine and uracil. Deoxyribonuclease digests DNA molecules into the sugar deoxyribose and the nitrogenous bases adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. Blood glucose homeostasis the endocrine portion of the pancreas controls the homeostasis of glucose in the bloodstream. Blood glucose levels must be maintained within certain limits so that there is a constant supply of glucose to feed the cells of the body but not so much that glucose can damage the kidneys and other organs. 
The pancreas produces two antagonistic hormones to control blood sugar, glucagon and insulin. The alpha cells of the pancreas produce glucagon. Glucagon raises blood glucose levels by stimulating the liver to metabolize glycogen into glucose molecules and to release glucose into the blood. Glucagon also stimulates adipose tissue to metabolize triglycerides into glucose and to release glucose into the blood. Insulin is produced by the beta cells of the pancreas. This hormone lowers blood glucose levels after a meal by stimulating the absorption of glucose by liver, muscle, and adipose tissues. Insulin triggers the formation of glycogen in the muscles and liver and triglycerides in adipose to store the absorbed glucose. Regulation of Pancreatic Function The pancreas is controlled by both the autonomic nervous system, AANS, and the endocrine system. The ANS has two divisions, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. Nerves of the sympathetic division become active during stressful situations, emergencies, and exercise. Sympathetic neurons stimulate the alpha cells of the pancreas to release the hormone glucagon into the bloodstream. Glucagon stimulates the liver to begin the breakdown of the energy storage molecule glycogen into smaller glucose molecules. Glucose is then released into the bloodstream for the organs especially the heart and skeletal muscles, to use as energy. The sympathetic nerves also inhibit the function of beta cells and acne to reduce or prevent the secretion of insulin and pancreatic juice. The inhibition of these functions provides more energy for other parts of the body that are active in dealing with the stressful situation. Nerves of the parasympathetic division of the ANS become active during restful times and during the digestion of a meal. Parasympathetic nerves stimulate the release of insulin and pancreatic juice by the pancreas. Pancreatic juice helps with the digestion of food while insulin stores the glucose released from the digested food in the body's cells. The endocrine system uses two hormones to regulate the digestive function of the pancreas, secretin and cholecystokinin, CCK. Cells in the lining of the duodenum produce secretin in response to acidic chyme emerging from the stomach. Secretin stimulates the pancreas to produce and secrete pancreatic juice containing a high concentration of bicarbonate ions. Bicarbonate reacts with and neutralizes hydrochloric acid present in chyme to return the chyme to a neutral pH of around 7. CCK is a hormone produced by cells in the lining of the duodenum in response to the presence of proteins and fats in chyme. CCK travels through the bloodstream and binds to receptor cells in the acne of the pancreas. CCK stimulates these cells to produce and secrete pancreatic juice that has a high concentration of digestive enzymes. The high levels of enzymes in pancreatic juice help to digest large protein and lipid molecules that are more difficult to break down.